Hi boys and girls, Miss Castellier in here. We are just a few days away from the first day of preschool. Yay! I'm so excited that you guys are coming this year to preschool. But I know you may be feeling a little different about things. You might be really excited, or you could be nervous, or you could be worried. Any of those things is okay to feel. But I wanted to take the chance to maybe help you feel a little bit better about coming to preschool by reading you a book called The Night Before Preschool. This may help you know some of the things that will be um, coming up at preschool, things that you might see and things that you might do. So let's read it together, shall we? The Night Before Preschool by Natasha Wing, illustrated by Amy Wummer. Twas the night before preschool, alarm clocks were set. All the children were cuddling their favorite plush pets. Monkeys and lions and soft bunnies too would be going to school like big boys and girls do. Parents set out clothes and clean underwear. Hoodies were hung by the front door with care. The children then nestled all warm in their beds while visions of playtime danced in their heads. But one little boy was still wide awake. He worried about preschool and the friends that he'd make. His tummy hurt, yet he didn't know why. He hid behind mommy. He was feeling quite shy. Hi there, Billy, said Justin. He greeted each child by name. Gather round and we'll start a fun clapping game. Kids sang songs and danced dances. They loved circle time. Then everyone listened to stories and a mother goose rhyme. They dressed up in clothes from the big costume box. Look, I'm a pirate and I'm Goldilocks. But Billy just watched other kids as they played. In the corner by himself was right where he stayed. Billy right there. drew a dinosaur as tall as a tree. He showed it to Justin. That's great. Is it for me? Then the children picked up their crayons and toys and took a trip to the bathroom. One for girls, one for boys. Let's break for snacks, said Justin, but Billy pushed his aside. Then off the class marched for playtime outside. There were tricycles to ride in a big loop-the-loop, -loop, a garden to tend, and sand piles to scoop. After hanging up jackets and wiping off shoes, they gathered their buddies for a quiet time snooze. The kids lay on their mats. Soon there wasn't a peep. All were quiet except Billy, who could not fall asleep. I can't take a nap without my Teddy Jerome. But he's not here, wailed Billy. I left him at home. When what to his watering eye should appear but a soft, fuzzy rabbit with a bow on its ear. It's okay, a little girl said. Here, take my bunny. And suddenly, Billy's tummy stopped feeling so funny. Thanks, whispered Billy, snuggling up for a nap. And just like that, he was asleep in a snap. After nap time was over, he played with Charlene. 
I'll be the blue rings, said Billy, and I'll be green. When out in the hallway there arose such a clatter, kids sprang to the door to see what was the matter. Parents rushed in wanting hugs and kisses. Billy's mom brought Jerome and asked, Did you miss us? See you tomorrow, said Justin. Wow, the first day was done. I'll be back, Billy shouted. Preschool is fun. The end. Hey, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story, The Night Before Preschool. I know, again, that you may be feeling a little nervous or excited or just lots of things about coming to preschool for the very first time. But what I want you to know is that Ms. Castellarin and all of your teachers are here to take really good care of you. And we can't wait to have fun with you. And then at the end of the day, you'll go back home with mom and dad. So no worries, sleep tight. We'll see you soon.